Hey, good morning everybody. So today is Thursday. It is one week um, to Thanksgiving. So maybe we'll do seven days of thankfulness. So today I'm thankful I woke up. No, seriously. Today I'm thankful for the wonderful parents I had. Have a good day. Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Lalita Loca Daily Vlog. Yeah, so uh, Thursday, November the 16th, and uh, the AC's a little loud. Just getting the vlog started. It's about noon. Uh, been working from home again today, but uh, I gotta go run some errands at lunch. Gonna uh, go over to the Honey Baked Ham store and to the post office. Congrats, uh, Debbie Bragg again. Uh, got a gift card coming your way. And uh, I'm, I think I'm also gonna try to stop at Home Depot and get a gallon of the uh, the chroma key green screen paint so that uh, I can get that project going on during the weekend but uh, yeah just uh, maybe a little extended lunch get a little lunch while I'm out and uh, knock some errands out so I uh, hope you guys are doing good and uh, we'll catch up with you later started out maybe like I don't know maybe like 34 this morning it is 59 degrees out and now I'm sweating <laughs> but anyway I just gotta take off my jacket hope you all having a good day I stopped home because um, I was in the neighborhood and Tony's not even here all right so I'm back uh, fairly successful I got the uh, gift card on its way uh, Home Depot, I didn't have any luck though. I, I took a, like a, I had the right brand of paint and then I took the label of somebody else's and uh, was gonna see if they could mix it to match that and uh, they they wouldn't do it. So uh, they said to maybe bring in a fabric sample or something like that. So I might cut off a piece of the background or the backdrop, the green screen and take it and try to get it mixed. But I don't know. Uh, there is just a regular green screen wall paint, like a professional quality. Uh, and I've heard that it's it's better, but it's not, you know, like that much better. It's like three times more expensive than just a regular like paint at Home Depot. So I don't know. I'd really like to have the wall painted and reclaim the space that the, this backdrop's taken up. Um, but I mean, it's not like, it's not like a, an immediate issue, but it maybe, maybe we'll work on it over the weekend, but yeah, so I'm gonna uh, get back to work, finish up the afternoon, and uh, I think we're gonna do our, uh, at least the questions that have come in tonight. So uh, yeah, just waiting for Jenny to come home and we'll uh, catch up with you later. Jenny. Hi. Hi. What's up, baby? Oh, nothing, what's up with y'all? How was your day? It was great. Can we go out to eat tonight? Yes, let's go out to eat. What do you want? I want Mexican food. We haven't had Mexican in a while. No, we haven't. Let's do that. Let's do that now. Yup. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Extreme close up. It's so pretty out tonight. Wherever you're at, it's pretty. Aww. Mm. Aww, how sweet are you? Oh, let's focus on my sweetness. He's letting me in the car. Get in the car, woman. <laughs> Jenny, hi. Where's my dinner? The dinner is right here. Oh, cool. What do we got? Um, I have chicken and rice. Is this not a huge plate? This is for lunch also tomorrow. Chicken and, and rice. And those tomatoes will be coming off. Ugh. Yeah. Tomatoes. And then you got what'd you get? A burrito supreme. Yeah, it's just a beef burrito. Looks pretty good. Yeah. You hungry? I am. Let's eat. Let's eat. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Hey, we just took a look at the uh, the. The question and answer uh, clip, it's about 30 minutes long, so uh, we're going to uh, split it into two pieces. So this is part one. We like to talk. Yeah, I'm a little long-winded. So part one. So hey, we, uh, we've we been compiling the questions that you've sent us for the uh, Ask Us Anything, and so yes. we have a nice little list. Uh, we teeter-totter whether to uh, come up with answers prior to doing the video. But we thought it might be more fun just to uh, just to take it as it comes. That's right. 
So uh, Jenny's got the questions and uh, she's going to read them off and I guess we'll answer. All right. Well, the first one comes from Matt and it's kind of a two-part question. Um, what is your favorite food and what is your least favorite food? What's that for you, Tony? Favorite food, uh, pizza, least favorite food, eggs. Does it good? Well, cooked eggs. I can eat eggs and stuff, but I can't eat uh, like scrambled eggs or fried eggs. So pizza and eggs. Yeah. Well, two years ago, that would have been my answer with eggs. Yeah. But all of a sudden, I, I like them and I eat them now. Uh, so roll. <laughs> no, they're not. They're so delicious. Um, so my favorite food is probably pizza. Yeah. Um, and then my least favorite food is mm, tomato. Maybe oh, a yeah. tomato. Gosh, I, I still and I still love you. I know. What uh? Let's modify the question. Uh, what's your what's your go to comfort food? What makes you feel good about life? Um, we're emotional eaters. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. <laughs> Probably ice cream. Oh, ice cream. It's not really a food. Yeah, it's food. I mean, it is. It's dairy. It's part of the food <laughs> food pyramid. I'm a chicken noodle soup and a shrimp fried rice. Yes. Both of those make me feel comfortable. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I mean, if it's a food, then I'm going to go with uh, broccoli and pasta. Yeah. Or um, chicken and rice. Just it makes you feel it, comfortable. It, it does. reminds you of home. Yes, it does. Or youth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. So the next question comes from Jason. Does Jenny always cook or does Tony sometimes as well? Oh, I, we both do it, I think. Yeah, I think we're good sharers in, in the in the workload in the kitchen. and. Yeah, we're probably, so out of seven days, Jenny probably cooks two, I probably cook two, and we probably eat out three times. Yeah, we need to change that around. I think that's kids. what it is. And, you know, there's just days where you don't feel like cooking, right? Right, so maybe we'll have a leftover or, a, you know. If we were better shoppers, we would probably... Because, like, you know, I'm normally home before Jenny, and if we have, you know, some sort of protein or something in the fridge, I'll cook it up. But uh, on those nights that we don't have anything, you know, like tonight, for example, we didn't really have anything in the fridge, so it's like, let's go get Mexican. Let's go out to eat. Okay. Um, what other cruise channels do you watch? And that comes from Matt. Uh, what other cruise channels do I, so we did do a video that I will, uh, link here called our top five mm -hmm. favorite cruise vloggers. I don't know that that's changed too much. So, uh, I, I watch YouTube a lot. I treat it almost like TV. Uh, we don't have cable. We do have Netflix and Hulu, but, uh, I am so much into just, uh, you know, just, you know, small creative people doing things and sharing their lives. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's really kind of what sparked a lot of what we do. Uh, but yeah, so uh, on my subscriptions, I've got Sea Cruisers and uh, Mr. Traveler, Sharon at Sea, uh, Morgan's Unofficial Travel Guide. Uh, I Don's watch, Family Vacation. Don's Family Vacation, I watch mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, that guy always has some really interesting stuff. For me, I, I like, uh, I just like, you know, people, I like the kind of real interaction when people are not only showing us stuff, but are just uh, kind of goofing off and showing us a little, I like that. I like life happening in different mm -hmm. contexts, and so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. Uh, we added, uh, is it ECCC Travels or mm -hmm. EECC Travels? I don't know. I watch them occasionally, um, and they're, uh, they're, they're interesting, uh, but we're just getting into them. I, I've been watching Boss Lady Travels. Like, she's on my feed, and so when they show up, I'll, I'll watch that, but yeah. uh, I think, you know, People that have a daily video like Don, I try to watch that, and uh, Sea Cruisers are pretty regular, and so uh, I see yeah, that, so watch them, yeah. Yeah, for me, um, you know, we did do that top five. Um, my go-to is probably the Sea Cruisers just to see their interaction with each other. Mm -hmm. um, I don't watch them so much since they kind of change their channel around. Um, I do like watching Don and supporting him on on his daily blog. So it's just about the creativity, that kind of stuff. But those are really the only two that I do watch like now. Like yeah. I just, you know. Um, and then on a spin side of that, Brandy wants to know, what YouTube channels do you watch not cruise related? So, That's a good question. 
again, like if I treat uh, if I treat YouTube like TV, I do watch a lot of different mm -hmm. people. So like. Uh, the, because uh, Casey Neistat's so big, right. it would be hard to say that, you know, I think almost everybody watches Casey yeah. Neistat. <clears throat> so uh, I used to have a reselling business where I would uh, source products and sell it on Amazon. So out of that time, there's a couple guys I watch, the Craigslist Hunter. Uh, this is a pretty cool dude that's got a, like a, like a thrift shop in mm -hmm. uh, Chicago and he's out kind of hustling and flipping uh, doing the eBay and he has a store watch this guy in uh, Arizona global voodoo I love him. Uh, and he's another kind of guy that goes and buys storage units and uh, so he's he's in my feed and then uh, state's place I don't watch her a whole lot but she's in my feed and she's a primarily a clothes seller on eBay uh, and her videos are pretty interesting uh, so, but just general consumption, uh, Casey Neistat, uh, Travel Feels, and Peter McKinnon, those are almost like, oh, I love Peter. yeah, they're, they're mm -hmm. almost like, uh, brother and brother channels. Uh, they're, they're two, uh, travel, uh, filmmakers and photographers and, uh, they just, they go to some amazing places and take some pretty crazy stuff. There's a whole, uh, niche of, uh, urban nomads or people that go to like abandoned, uh, places. Uh, amusement parks oh, and yeah, what's prisons. That one guy? Watch this guy out of North Carolina called the Carpet Bagger. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I then like we him. used to watch uh, Adam the Woo uh, before he quit his daily vlog. And then uh, down in Florida, there's uh, a theme park guy that's pretty big called the Tim Tracker. And uh, him and his wife Jen uh, go to all the Orlando parks, and uh, they're pretty entertaining to watch too. So yeah, so I like Casey. Um, I like. Ethan and Eli, what are they? H H3, H3. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen them, they're hilarious. You yeah. got to check them out. Um, and I like some beauty channels that I watch. I don't really know their names offhand. I just kind of click through them. Um, one beauty lady I do love, if you just search for Jersey, Jersey Woman, Jersey Woman Beauty, I can't think of what her name is. She only has maybe three or four um, videos out there, but they're hilarious. You know, it's just like, oh! Shadow, you know, like she just reminds me of my aunts and stuff. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> that's kind of what I watch. Um, the next question comes from Chris. How do you have time to enjoy cruise cruises when you do videos? That's a good question for you. So the trick for me is that's how I enjoy cruises. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, I, I want, I want to. So I'm in the moment, right? Like I go and I enjoy everything that I do, but it's like, how can I take a little bit of time? to see if I can let other people be in the moment also. I hope we do that. Right. Uh, and so I just, I carry the camera, I try to turn it on. But I mean, if you, you know, I did have a lot of footage from the Cuba trip, um, but you know, it's only a small amount of time that we're actually filming. So uh, the, the fun for me is to see if I can capture enough of it so that it's fun for you guys. Right. I just, uh, I enjoy it from a creative perspective, so it's, it's part of the experience for me. Yeah, and Tony does most of the filming, um, especially when we're on the cruises, because I just feel like, um, I don't want to do it. <laughs> exactly. It is let's, a let's be honest. It's a real debate that we had. So, like, to me, I felt like I had to commit to getting a lot of footage if we were going to, you know, say that we were going to make cruise right. vlogs. Right. But, you know, it, it's a real discussion because the first cruise, we, like, we didn't get the social media mm -hmm. package and we just we were just going to go completely downtime. But, um, yeah, so I don't know. That might evolve. But, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed what we ended up with from the, uh, from the uh, Paradise. Yeah, I tried to do a lot of still pictures and try to do that interaction um you know with with the social media with everybody joe wants to know what our hobbies are um i'm gonna be honest i probably don't have i don't really have any hobbies but talking on the phone to my family or um you know i like to scroll through facebook i enjoy playing slots on my on my phone i don't really have many outside the home hobbies yeah, I mean, we don't go out, we don't do like, yeah, I don't know, like, we're not huge sports fans. When we lived in Nashville, we would go see hockey games. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, though, I'm always into something, and my brother is the same way, and so, uh, you know, I've got way too many comic books in the house still. Uh, I was a Lego collector for a while. I spent a few years uh, dedicating a lot of time playing poker. Um, just whatever hits me, I'll get super obsessed about it. 
I mean, I would say right now, I, I, I just, I obsess a little bit about camera gear and trying to learn mm -hmm. how to make film. Uh, I used to write quite a bit. And so there's, uh, I like to sing. So the, I, whatever I can get into, but it's never anything I get, I, not that I get bored, but, uh, my interests will shift pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And, um, so yeah, I, I guess my hobby is just trying to learn a new thing and uh, master it a little bit and then go on and learn another. Just keep expanding the stuff I'm exposed to. Yeah. That's so what, my I hobby, guess that's a hobby. I don't yeah. know. And my hobby is probably supporting you in all, all of that. You do a great job. Most people <laughs> would call me crazy, but you, uh, you tell me to keep on keeping on. We walk along with it. All right. Um, the next question comes from Patty. Uh, how long are you guys married and what is our anniversary? Gosh, I don't even know either of those. You better know. We've well, been those. married, so... Uh, well, wait, let's go to the question underneath. How did we meet? So we met uh, in, in 2002, and we met back on the internet in the days where like chat rooms were a huge thing. So it, it's not like that anymore. It's not. I don't know, I don't know the, the arc of chat rooms, but we met uh, just, uh, I reached out to Jenny based on her profile picture and just started talking to her and, and we hit it off. And so we, uh, we met in April of 2002 mm -hmm. and then we got married in February of 2003. And uh, I'm a little bit of a quirky guy, and so uh, one thing that I would always keep up with was my my half birthday. So my regular birthday is 8:22, my half birthday is 2:22, and so casually on one phone call in our long distance relationship, I said, "Look, you know, uh, if my half birthday is on a Saturday in 2003, uh, we should get married." And it was. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I just said that, and uh, and it was. So uh, on 2:22 of 2018. We will be married for 15 years. Yes. So that's how we, that's how we met. We met on the internet. Um, it's a super cool love story. And, um, you know, we, we did a lot of long distance for, a, you know, a couple of months. And, um, you know, those were super sad times, too, when you would come and visit and leave. And, um, yeah, so when he asked me to marry him, it really was over the phone, like he said. And it wasn't very, um, you know, it was just over the phone with one of our conversations. Yeah. But he did, um, you know, did a proposal the day before we got married at our rehearsal dinner in front of my entire family. And it was just super emotional. And, um, you know, he, he married, he married not only me, but he married, you know, he brought two more kids into his life and, and, you know, me the same, bringing four more kids into my life. So it's been a beautiful ride of 15 years. Yeah, we blend, we blended the Brady Bunch. So three boys and three girls. You know what I was thinking about when you were uh, sharing that? You should tell everybody what your screen name was. What was my screen name? I can't remember. You remember. Oh, the Eighth Wonder. Eighth Wonder. That's yeah. a bull. I, that's why I had to talk to Jenny because anybody that says, look, I'm the Eighth Wonder of the world, I'm like, that's what I'm about. My screen name was Juggler. I'm like, yeah. The, let's see if the, Juggler let's see if the clown, two. let's see if the clown can, uh, you know, uh, you know, match up with the Eighth Wonder of the world. Am I still the eighth wonder? No, you're you're the only wonder. Cause I wake up every day and I wonder, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought you were gonna say you wake up and you wonder, why are you with me? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so juggling was a hobby too. I forgot about that. Yeah, one. juggling's a big hobby. It's it was yeah. super cool to watch that. Yeah, I was juggling in the early days of the internet, so most of my screen names uh, were some version of juggler. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, so that was the uh, end of the first half of the questions. Uh, there's more to come tomorrow. Make sure you tune back in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified for part two of the question and answer. Follow us on all the social media, Instagram, Twitter, La Lido Loca Facebook group, and until tomorrow night, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see, see you on the Lido. Lido.